I'm on? H Hi, this is Patsy and Bobby's home. We're out fooling around right now, but we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Speak after the tone. Hold on, here it comes. Mom, it's me. I'm okay. I left word. Oh. Hey. You can keep those. Yeah. What? Let's go. The leaves are changing now. I can't see that from the pen. Why are you doing this? I can't let you go. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. You must know that by now, don't you? It's just that... Oh, sometimes I get mad and I hit out. But I can control that now. Well, I've learned to handle myself okay now. Is that why you were in jail? Hitting somebody? No. I mean, yes, but... Well, really, no. But the first time I was a kid, 17, it was a mistake. When you're a kid, 17, and spend two years in the pen, you learn some things that you shouldn't... Well, that you should... Now, you can't get busted for stealing the car because I stole it, right? Right. So... Want a beer? He doesn't want to hurt that boy. He never did. I'm sure the kid feels grateful for your confidence. He let the boy call his home. That proves he's crazy. You know what he's in for. Yeah, I do. He's in for eight years. That's what he's in for. The last time it was three years, and the time before that it was two years. Wait a minute. You're feeling sorry because you kept this psycho in jail. If we let him out quietly on parole, this just would never have happened. No, no. You kept him in because you know something about him. Now, come on. Why don't you tell me where he's at, huh? Come on, please, tell me where he's going. He is going any place, any place he can find where there is no one to confuse or anger or, or organize or neglect him. That's where he's going. No matter what happened before, I promise you, I will not ignore or neglect Martin Steckert now. Dock a car approaching two kilometers. Travel speed, 50 kph. Estimated intersect, two minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, look at that! You're doing great! Is the interception car ready? Target car is committed to intersect 115 seconds. Hey, look! 55 miles an hour! It's kilometers. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever driven a car before? Never. You're terrific!
I'm sorry, Mark. I really am. Let's stop and eat, okay? Maybe ice cream, banana split. Do you like banana splits? You okay now? What do you say? How about a double cheeseburger? <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're stopping me for. I haven't done a damn thing, okay? Stick him up. Oh, my God. You, out. Come on. Stand there. Open the back. Yes, sir. Martin! When is your birthday? May 25th. Wrong. It's today. Go on. Go on. Wow. Birthday, Martin. By the way, uh, where's the nearest eating place on this road? What? Restaurant, cafe, the best one on this road. Uh, there's a halfway house about 15 miles on the, maybe 20, on the right. Thank you. Paul. Thank you. Why did he take all his clothes off? Because I told him to. Why? They make you do that every day of your life in the pen. I think that's stupid. Two men are now in position, sir. Thank you, Jane. For what? What are you doing? They're stopping at a roadside cafe. The halfway cafe, as it is wittily called. Apparently because it's halfway between the border and the North Pole. The road will be blocked off as soon as Stagger and the boy get into the area. And we have a marksman in position. And with luck, we'll get off one clear headshot. Listen, Stegard's reflexes aren't like yours and mine. You know. If, if we were shot, we'd be thinking about the pain, but that man set himself on fire, Lardner. Pain is secondary to his obsessions. Listen to me. If you shoot him, if you wound him, he'll be like a, a, a grizzly striking out at anything in range. They're six kilometers out, sir. Thank you. We'll be using a uh, hollow-nosed projectile. And I'm afraid not even a grizzly bear can strike out with its head blown off. Got a girlfriend. She lives around here somewhere. 
Lakefield. Ah, she was the best. Loyal, pretty, smart. Writes great letters. Used to write to me a lot. And then she moved. Moved away, out of the city. Her and me. We used to have great times together. Get a steady shot. Now let me catch my breath. How much? Ten dollars, please. Twenty. Twenty. They didn't get a shot off. Well, look at it this way. Now you have the opportunity of doing it to him yourself. Just, I may just have to stand in line to do that. <laughs> 